Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome back to my YouTube channel. The channel aims to give you more perspectives, skills and knowledge you need in your relationship, dating and love. And in this video today, we are going to talk about expectation in relationship. Why do we need to talk about expectation? Well, every single argument or fight that you have with your partner root in unmatched expectation. When you get angry or upset at your partner because he or she does something that you don't want them to do, or the other way around, your partner feels sad or disappointed because you don't do something that they expect you to do. With that being said, having a conversation about expectation between you and your partner is crucial. Therefore, Therefore, this video is dedicated to teach you how to have an effective conversation about expectation. I'm going to share with you the four key points you need to keep in mind when you have this type of conversation with your partner. So now, let's start jumping to the key point number one. The key point number one is to be true to yourself and your partner. In the beginning or during the conversation with your partner, you are probably going to have these types of thoughts. Maybe my expectations are too high or low. My partner may think that I'm too picky, selfish or needy. The fear of showing our loved one who we actually are is real. We fear of rejection. We fear of losing our perfect images in our partner's eyes. However, if you think about it, would you rather to be in a relationship with someone that loves you for who you actually are or in a relationship with someone that loves you because who you pretend to be? The answer is easy. Of course, we want our partners love us for who we actually are. And because of that, we need to speak our truth. I need you to speak your truth to your partner. Speak about what you want and what you don't want in a relationship. Speak your expectations. Let your partner know what do you expect from the relationship, from him or her. Speaking the truth is first for you. You deserve to be with someone that loves you for who you actually are. And then speak the truth because it's for your relationship. It's for your partner. Your partner deserves to know the truth. I know it is easier said than done. However, it isn't impossible and you can do it. Be courageous and speak your truth. At this point, we both know that Talking about expectation isn't easy. Your partner will probably feel the same way as you do. That's why the key point number two I want you to remember is to build a safe space. When you build a safe space, your partner will feel more comfortable, will be more likely to open up and talk about their expectations. And how do we create a safe space? My answer is holding their hands, touching their arms, Kiss them, hug them, smile at them, nodding your head when they talking, and telling them that you are here to listen and to support them, not to judge them. By you doing what I just shared, your partner will feel tremendously supported by you. And you may ask, why I have to be the one that creates the safe space? How about my partner? Why he or she doesn't have to do so? Well, my answer is because I'm talking to you right now, not your partner. Your partner doesn't have this knowledge, but you do, and therefore you will act better. You can also ask or request your partner to create the safe space for you by just telling them that I am going to talk about a very important topic for our relationship. I'm very nervous and this is not easy, but I'm going to do it no matter what. And it will be very helpful if you can do so for me. And just let your partner what you would like them to do. Could be hug you, could be kiss you, could be holding your hands, could be telling them that they are not going to judge you. So the key point number two is to build a safe space for your partner. And don't forget that you can also ask and request them to do the same thing for you. 
The key point number three is to remember the purpose of this conversation. You and your partner talk about expectations in order to get to know each other more, in order to build a better relationship. That's your intention. That's your goal. So many couples start a conversation talking about something and then end up in a different place because they forget what they original want out of this conversation. It's very likely that when you and your partner talk to each other, he or she may say something that triggers your anxiety, your fear, your insecurity. And by the way, these are very normal. It just shows that you are a human being. So I just want to let you know that you are not alone by feeling anxious, insecure, or fearful. Anyway, go back to that conversation. So when there are triggers, you are very likely to react, to argue, your ego is gonna come out. Your ego wants to win. You now want to win over an argument with your partner, which completely off track to why you started this conversation in the first place. You are not reaching your goal by reacting, by arguing with your partner. Therefore, I want you to always remember your purpose of the conversation. And when you remember, you will not react. You will manage your words and your behaviors better. You will carry the conversation to the destination that you planned originally. You can't reach your goal if you forget what your goal is. So guys, remember your why so that you will respond rather than react. The key point number four is to verbally and explicitly announce the agreement. And you will ask me, what do you mean by agreement? Well, here's my answer. Unless you are in a relationship with yourself, your partner's expectations are going to be different from yours. And it's your job and your partner's job to sit with one another and talk about the differences. And not just talk about it, but come to an agreement with one another. Because you and your partner can't have a striving, a happy or healthy relationship when you and your partner have unmatched expectations. You and your partner will need to compromise on certain things in order to match your expectations and his or her expectations. And please do not assume that by you and your partner talk about expectations, that means you guys are on the same page. You do need to verbally and explicitly announce the agreement again. And not just that, you also need to wait for your partner's confirmation whether it is a yes or a no from him or her. If it is a yes, amazing. However, if it is a no, then you and your partner need to continue discussing with one another until you guys come to an agreement. If needed, you guys can take a break, go on a walk or do something so that you can come back to one another with a fresh mind and discuss on the expectations. And then you guys can come to an agreement with one another. Talking about expectations is one of the crucial topics you and your partner need to talk about in your relationship. So make sure you be true to yourself and your partner when you talk about your expectations. Build a safe space when talking about expectations. Remember the purpose of the conversation is to understand one another better and to come to an agreement that both say yes to it. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below any questions or any topics you want me to talk about in my future videos. Have a great day and I will see you in my future videos. Take care and bye-bye.